What's up, Six Stringers? Welcome to Nitro Licks. Today's lesson, Jimmy Allen and Brad Paisley's Nashville smash, Freedom Was a Highway. Okay, first things first, we are tuned to E standard. Um, the song is in the key of uh, a D flat uh, major. Um, we'll start with the, the simple uh, power chord progression that you hear in the song. It's like this. Okay. It's just four on your E string and six. Move up a whole step. And then come down. All right. Those are your power chords. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, um, instead of talking too much over explaining every lick, because there are a lot of licks, and we'll do the solo as well later, I'll put a timestamp on the screen for each lick. That timestamp corresponds with the, uh, the time in the track itself. So for example, if you see on the screen, um, I think the first lick is around the seven second mark. You see that? If you want to hear it for reference, go to the seven second mark in the actual track, okay? So that first lick at seven seconds goes like this. Okay. That's the first lick. And then lick number two begins at the 11 second mark, and it's like this. Right? So I'll do that slow now. time. Alright. Those first two licks that we just did, um, that's kind of the intro. We don't really have any licks during uh, verse number one. Um, and as we get into the chorus, it's about the 57 second mark. Um, you've got this time for the front part of this leak. Seven, six, four. This is on the B string and then we've got and that is slide up from four to six and then tap on uh, that fifth fret. Press down on that with your finger and then you're gonna slide up from four to six again on B string so you're gonna go and then G string, D string, eight and six frets. Okay. Okay. Verse one didn't have any licks. Verse two does. Uh, the first one begins at uh, 111 mark in the song, and it just goes. Okay. Is this? and slow. That's the D string. And then do it again. Now come down to A and slide from 8 to 6. Okay. Alright, and then the next lick in verse 2 begins at the 120 mark. And it's something like this. And that's as we go into the 
chorus again. Um, it's a little hard to hear, but it's... That's 9 and 11 on that B. And then you've got this right before we go into the chorus. This is the lick that's a little hard to hear. I think the tell of it's pretty accurate. Something's going on before that. It's not real audible to me, but that's the basic idea of it is. And then in the chorus for the second time. And then in chorus number two, we've got a few licks. Now the first one starts around 131, 132 mark, something like that. It's like. Real simple little blues lick. Uh, it's your D and G strings. Okay. And then that next lick for the second chorus is around the minute 44 mark, I believe. That's something like. Okay, so. Again, we're at the 6th and 8th fret. A lot of these licks are right in that area. And then the next lick there, uh, the last one in the second chorus, around a minute and 52. Uh, I believe it goes... Same frets again, that 6th fret and 8th fret. tail end of that lick. Okay? Alright, then we get into that bridge section where he says when you're 17 and driving, you don't think about the road running out. Um, there's a lot going on there, uh, but I think the gist of it is something like... Okay, and that's just... Six and eight frets again, but that's your G and D strings. And then you've got something, it goes something like this. Something like that. It's a little tricky to hear too. Or maybe I'm just losing my hearing in my old age. <laughs> but uh, something like this. Six and eight again. Palm mute that. And then get that G string in there. And that's where we go into the solo. All right, guys, let's have some fun and learn this solo now. Uh, Brad Paisley's uh, kind of a maniac, um, full disclosure. Um, I have a hard time playing this solo up to uh, the recorded tempo. It's pretty fast. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on each lick because you can always uh, slow down the video or go back and watch it again. Um, so just to get through this lesson, I'll show you each lick. I'll play it to speed and then I'll play it slower. If it's complicated, I'll give you some tips, okay? So we start off, it's kind of like coming out of the... Um, <laughs> power chords there he goes and then you've got that right so E4 slide up from 6 to 8 hammer on from 6 to 8 on the A string Once we get up to that 10th fret on that D, we're going to go 8 on that G string.
Okay. That's 16. Full step bend. Release and then pull off to your 14. This is on E. And then immediately grab that B string and do it there. Full step bend. And then 14. Full step on that 16, 14. Fourteen again. Four times. Bend it. That's one. That fourth time, release it, and then. Now that's the same chord. It's just that power chord there, and then move it here. Reason being, it makes it easier to do this. Okay, so 13 on A, and that's 11 on D and G, and then D13. Fifteen on G, fourteen and thirteen on your B. Fifteen D and G or G and D. Okay, so and then we've got. Just break it down in little chunks here on this part. So in this section we've got D13, G15, and a, a maybe like a quarter step bend. 13, 14 on B. And then 16. Okay, and then we've got right. So it'd be like this. So thirteen eleven on E. 14 on E, 14 on B, 16, 13 on E, 18, 16 on B, 14 on E, and then 20 on E. that okay all right so let's and then we've got this then we get to the so that's Eighteen, sixteen, thirteen. Do that twice. Try to alternate pick if you can. And then B sixteen. And then back to this. And then we've got. G. Eleven, 
11. Full step bend, release, and then pull off to 9. 11 and 9 on B. 6. So it's like this. So after that, right? So one more time. Looks around uh, your 255 mark, something like this. Right? Um, and then we're at around the three minute mark, the 301 mark, uh, right around there, you've got this lick. So, this is D and G strings. I'm still playing around that sixth fret, eighth fret area. So, one more time, slow. around 305 mark you've got one that sounds like this okay do it a little slower and then that eight and six spot again on the six and eighth frets here we're on a G and D string and palm mute it. And then you end it with a double stop at the ninth fret in your E and A string. Right? All right, we're at the end of the song. This is the last lick. It goes like this. slow. And that's for even with the highway guys, at least the major power chords and most of the licks and the guitar solo. Check out my channel. I've got other country rock there, a lot of classic rock, some metal, some grunge, alternative, some pop. We love it all at Nitro Licks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.